to this edition of Ready, Set, Win. I'm Theron Warren, and today my guest is Mr. Frank Eady from the Integrated Disability Evaluation System Department here at Win. Sir, you mind if I call you Frank? Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. So Frank, tell us, what is the IDES system? Well, IDES, uh, like he said, the Integrated Disability Evaluation System, is a joint collaboration between DOD and VA so that the soldier only has to go through one exam and not twice. Once they in and then once when they're out. We do all the competitive exams here in collaboration with the VA so that way they know their VA and their military ratings before they get out of the military. So it sounds like you like working with soldiers. So why did you apply for this position? I applied for this position because I love soldiers. I was in the military. I was a medic when I was in the military and I was pretty much groomed for this position as I was going through. I left the medical holding company at Walter Reed to go over to work for the Physical Disability Agency, which is the PDA. And that's why I was pretty much groomed to go ahead and be a supervisor in the IDES system. So I understand there are six main phases to the IDES system. Would you like to name them for us? Sure. You have the referral phase, which consists of the soldiers get, receiving their profile. Then you have the claim development phase. Then you have the MEB stage. You have the physical evaluation board stage. You have the rating phase, then the transitional phase, which will then separate the soldier from the military. Here at Team Medic, we're all about empowerment. What are two regulations the soldiers can research and find out more about the IDS system? The soldier can look at uh, Army Regulation 40-501 or Army Regulation 635-40. Our viewers may want to know, what is the Medical Evaluation Board? The Medical Evaluation Board is when the soldier comes through. First, they go see the provider, receive a P3 profile, and then they will get referred to the IDS. Now, the only way that they actually get into the IDES process is for one of our MEB providers to actually look over their records and then sign a second signature on that P3 profile. And then they're inside the medical board process. So Frank, it sounds like you're very passionate about your job. Mm -hmm. In one word, how would your coworkers describe you? Just as that, passionate. I'm real passionate about this job, real passionate about the soldiers and their families. As a former soldier, I wasn't always happy about the process of when I was getting ready to separate out of the military. Let's get real. Have you ever had one unhappy customer and how did you handle the situation? Well, you're always going to have somebody unhappy. You, you, you can't please everybody. But what you do to diffuse it is actually sit them down and listen to them. Hear what their, what their issues really is. And nine times out of ten, it's something really minor. So something I can just fix right there, especially as the chief of the department, we can normally make it happen for them. Most of the time, it's soldier needs more time to go through the process. They feel like we are rushing them through it, but we're honestly not. We do have timelines that we do have to stick by. So your coworkers will pretty much handle the situation in the exact same manner? All my whole staff will handle it in the same manner. All right, my staff is real, how can I put it, professional. They know their job. They are real passionate as I am about their job, and they know customer service is key. So Frank, in 60 seconds or less, tell us something that you want soldiers to know before they hit your door, and go. I want the soldiers to honestly know that, know your medical conditions, get seen for all your conditions. Don't be afraid to talk about your conditions with our providers. Let them know exactly what you are striving for, especially with your Peblo. Let them know, let them guide you through the process. That's what they're here to do. All my staff here will work with you throughout this whole process and guide you. Make sure you seek our legal counsel, all right? That's what they're here for. Let them legally advise you on your case. Let the process work for you. Forget everything that you thought, you read, you heard from anybody about your process, all right? This is yours. Everybody's case is unique, so yours is going to be unique. So don't worry about what somebody else's process was, worry about yours. Well, thank you. Today my guest has been Mr. Frank Eady from the Integrated Disability Evaluation System Department here at Wynn Army Community Hospital. I thank you for joining me, sir, and I hope to see you again. And as always, be ready, set,